Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Monday, August 3rd to the 4th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully you can get something out of it today, Aries. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, info's in the description box below. I'm going to grab a channeled message here for you guys. Before we begin, first going to grab some cards here. See what's up for my Arians. Oh, Aries. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So you have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups. Ooh, here? Okay. The Four of Wands and the Chariot card. Okay, I'm not sure if any of you are sick out there, but I am feeling... Um, I'm feeling nauseous, so, and it's not me. I'm not sure what's going on, but okay. Uh, so let's get this message from Spirit and see what's up for you. lean into new opportunities, Aries. Just that, you know, they're showing me like peek your head in. Just if there's a curiosity there, they're saying peek your head in. Because it will lead you somewhere important, they're saying. So don't be afraid to look. Because some of you are going to question your um, instincts. And this is like an instinct thing that I'm feeling that you're going to feel towards uh, an opportunity. But instead of at least peeking your head in and, and just looking at it, some of you are just going to turn the opposite direction because you're not going to trust your instincts, but you have to trust your instincts because what's it going to hurt? Peeking your head in, right? Okay. All righty. So you could be dealing with a twin here. We do have the four of wands and two of cups. Definitely a soulmate I'm feeling. Could be somebody at a distance, but this has to do with foundation is this past some of you this is past is this some of okay some is past some is new or it could be new but not so new because it's a past life soulmate um, for some reason this is making you anxious because if it's a past person it's making you anxious because of the trust factor in it right Huh. Yeah. See? Told you it's a soulmate. Past life soulmate. This is clarifying the chariot. So somebody may be on their way to you or you them. This is a past life soulmate. If this is somebody from the past, it's somebody you knew from childhood. Or you had a childhood connection with a... It's a very innocent love. Tell me about the Four of Wands, the King of Cups. There's a lot of love for you, Aries. A lot of love. This person is very intuitive. Tell me about the Two of Cups. This is being looked over. This definitely could be a twin because there's an angel here looking over you. Look, you've got, you've got one here and then you've got one here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, you could have that in your charts. 
tell me more about this person. Yeah, this is reunion. And this is also healing. If anything, there's healing that needs to occur. And this healing needs to be embraced. But I do feel you both want the same thing. Yeah. You're, you're, you're just confused. You're anxious. Okay? Like, I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Why are you so anxious? Though? Will this manifest? Can this manifest the way that I want it to? Justice. And we have a twin flame card again and the emperor. You, this is you. You want to be certain that this is the direction that you want to go in. You're, you're, you're needing to trust air Aries and you're finding it difficult to trust. But you have to know here with the justice card that this is all about trusting your intuition. And making that judgment call. So as long as you listen to your intuition and you listen, listen to your instincts, all will be well. How does this person feel about Aries, King of Pentacles? They feel solid. This is Taurus energy. They feel like they can really build something with you, Aries. Okay, they feel grounded with you, they're saying. Ten of Swords. They may feel like you betrayed them in the past, lied to them. And because I feel like this Nine of Swords, you sort of share this energy. So they are confused with the Seven of Cups, but the Lovers is here. So it's like it, this. there's a third energy that's coming in between you guys. It could be just this sort of anxiety energy, this distrustfulness because of if this is past, right? And if this isn't past, this is a fear, right? Of trusting. So, but this is something that you guys have both dreamed of. Or daydreaming of, right? Yeah. Five of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. So this is shared energy here, I'm feeling. And this is showing up in just like fears, man. Yeah. You, you guys are petrified that you're going to fall into toxic behavior that was the same for the past. But they're saying no. They're saying that you're not. So what is your advice, Spirit? Yeah. You guys are going to start a new cycle. If you both choose to begin this again, you guys are going to start a new cycle. Okay? And if this is somebody new, you will get over your fears. This will not be a, uh, like a repeat of the past. You will not be repeating lessons for karma. Okay? Because I feel that you two will be communicating about this. Yeah. So I feel because of this communication... Spirit is saying that you're going to open up your hearts. So try to keep that in mind if this love comes towards you. Not sure if you're going towards them or they're coming towards you. It can go either way. But when this love comes towards you, Aries, past or new, um, be open hearted about it regardless. Okay. Try to put your fears aside because it's going to serve you best. Knight of Wands. Keep that youthful spirit about you. Keep that excitement. You know what you feel when you when it's like new love, youthful love, exciting love? Keep keep that youthful, flirty spirit about you, okay? Remain light about this situation. Not so heavy when this person comes in and this begins. Whether it's old or new. Keep it light. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific with you and your questions and your needs. Info is in the description box below. Have yourself a fantastic day, Aries, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.